In other news tonight, President Biden is touting his administration's efforts to vaccinate the country as we cross yet another medical milestone in America. Healthcare professionals have now administered 300 million shots in the past 150 days, bringing the percentage of adult Americans with at least one shot, one dose of the shot, up to 65%. But that is just 5% shy of the president's goal of getting at least one shot in the arms of 70% of adults, of course, by the July 4th holiday. However, the president's administration is encouraging still Americans to please roll up their sleeves and continue the progress of the last few months. News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin live in New York tonight with a closer look at where each state now stands. Tom. Closer look at the data, that's right, Rob, and closer look at where some doctors feel that data leads us because we're looking at isolated pockets of the country where the vaccination rates are very, very low. The question, does that leave those areas wide open to new COVID mutations? Good President afternoon. Biden doubling down on his plea for Americans to get vaccinated with a warning about the Delta variant. It's a variant that is more easily transmissible, potentially deadlier, and particularly dangerous for young people. The administration will likely fall just short of its goal of getting at least one shot to 70% of adults by the 4th of July. New Jersey hit that mark today, nearly two weeks ahead of schedule. And by the way, we are not close to stopping. New York launched fireworks Tuesday to mark hitting 70%, but the latest numbers reveal for many of its neighborhoods, celebrating is premature. Parts of Brooklyn, only one in three vaccinated. A neighborhood in Queens with a total just over 28%. Low numbers in some of the same areas that erupted in protests last fall over COVID restrictions, burning masks in the street. I think one of the most concerning aspects that the push to get people vaccinated from coronavirus has revealed is the stunning uh, lack of respect for the scientific community. Nationwide, the latest numbers from the Centers for Disease Control show eight states with less than 35 percent vaccinated as scientists examine whether COVID survivors retain some immunity, how much and for how long. Is population immunity a combination of having had the infection in the past and your vaccination rate. This week, San Francisco and Seattle became the first U.S. cities to achieve herd immunity vaccination levels. We shut down first. We were criticized for shutting down first. And now we're being praised. Much lower levels in other regions, experts say, will make it a hard target to hit nationwide. When we look at communities that have pockets where people are not vaccinated, those people are tremendously at risk. The only people I and I think many of my colleagues are, are seeing in our ICUs, uh, in our hospitals who are coming in very sick with COVID now are the people who didn't, didn't get vaccinated. And as life gets back to normal here in New York and across the country, that's where science is looking. That's where the experts are looking, not at where we are, but at where this is going and whether these small pockets with very low vaccination rates are, are wide open to COVID variations like Delta. Robin Marnie. Tom Negevin, live in New York. Tom, thank you.